Chainsaw Man is the hot talk of Shonen Jump, breaking barriers for what should be in a shonen magazine. It's not the first, and it's actually coupled by two other manga that have been dubbed as the Dark Trio, Hell's Paradise and the recently animated Jujutsu Kaisen that's grown massive in popularity. Chainsaw Man is dark, gritty, filled with twists and turns, and certainly has potential to become more than just a niche cult classic, and similar to its brother Jujutsu Kaisen, become the next big hit. Before I get into Chainsaw Man, if you enjoy manga or anime, make sure to subscribe. Over 90% of my viewers aren't subbed yet, and the support would be huge. Enjoy the video. As I said, Chainsaw Man is kind of a dark horse within Shonen Jump, drawing out incredibly gory acts of violence and tons of sexual references that wouldn't be usually associated with Shonen. The bright, teenager, rise to power type of story? Well, I guess it's really only different in the first aspect of that description. But Denji is very unlike the main character archetype, in that he really has no firm goal. In fact, much of the story in the recently finished first part of the manga is spent asking what does he want and what he's truly fighting for. There's no Hokage, no pirate king that he can strive to be. At first his goal is, uh, it's very shallow, but very funny. And of course he grows and tries to find his true calling, but I think this beginning switch up will stick with audiences who are tired of the typical tropes. Chainsaw Man is just the opposite of typical. The story is, for a lack of better words, totally unexpected. With more plot twists than I can count on my hand, and characters that often have extremely demented and pessimistic views on the world, I have no doubt that it can easily become a staple for devout followers of the dark shoujo and supernatural genres. I think propelling it into the mainstream of anime though, while definitely foreseeable, can go wrong. We can hope that MAPPA does as well of a job with the anime adaptation as they're doing now with Jujutsu Kaisen or Attack on Titan Season 4. Granted, if they don't though, it could spell disaster. And considering they do have Jujutsu Kaisen and Attack on Titan Season 4 on their plate, two incredibly popular shows, it could be possible that they can't keep it consistent with Chainsaw Man as well. A focal point of the Chainsaw Man manga is the beauty of the violence, the visceral scenes you see. And if these aren't animated well, then Chainsaw Man loses its oomph. If scenes are censored or CG is notably clunky, the humanistic fear of losing your life that the manga instills may lose its footing on the big screen. As we see gritty shows like The Promised Neverland and ReZero top the lists of most anticipated new seasons coming out, it's evident that the community wants this, or at least enjoys it. Chainsaw Man is appealing to a market that's already invested in dark anime, and with the shonen twist that Chainsaw Man has, I can see it shooting past those to the top of said charts. I started reading the manga because I heard all the buzz about the darkest shonen jump manga out right now, and I think the reputation it's already built among the manga community can certainly back it should the adaptation stay true. If you haven't read the manga, I suggest you do, to understand what distinguishes Chainsaw Man not only from Shonen Jump, but from the content being delivered across both anime and manga currently. Though it's grouped with Jujutsu Kaisen, it's vastly different. It lacks the superhero feelings you get from Gojo and other characters, and is instead a show that maintains a relatively crappy feeling throughout its entirety. Not because it's bad, but because the world it creates and the characters who have to deal with it are doing so at incredibly high stakes with intimate, gory, violent, beautiful, immersive scenes. You feel bad for them with the lives they have to put up with. It's like they get pushed down each time they get a win, and along with the edgy, sharp art style you're left wondering, will it get better? It's just like the world we currently live in now, 2020 moving on to 2021. The feeling that it really can't get worse than this. It's different from anything we're getting in the shonen genre, and I think that's why it has potential to become a truly one-of-a-kind anime. Comment down below if you want me to start reviewing Chainsaw Man chapters as well. I'd love to do so. As always, this has been the Anime Culture Corner. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for a future in-depth show, manga, and character analyses.